formatting cells and columns is different from formatting a number which is very important part of excel in this video we're going to uh, emphasize on this part if you look at this data we do have a lot of numbers with us and these are numbers we cannot say that what are these these are amount these are units or what are they that's why formatting is really very important so for example we click on this number and i want that this is actually an amount so in this case i want to change it to a currency so right now you can see this dollar sign we have to look at this number group and in this case in this drop down you can see it is journal right now and if i want i can change it to a currency also when i change it it will show me a dollar sign but maybe i don't want this dollar sign i want an indian rupee currency so either i right click on this and click on format cells this is one way or i can click on this launcher or i can also press a shortcut which is control 1 on your keyboard it will open up this format cells dialog box in this case if i click on this as we are in the into the currency part we click on it and if i press i i'll go to inr which is indian rupee if i press okay it will change into inr this now as i have formatted this cell i can see that decimal places are pretty much back so i want to remove these decimal places also through these arrow keys if i click on this this is to decrease it if i click on this this is to increase it so let me decrease these and after that i want this formatting to all of these numbers so instead of doing it again and again what i can do is there is one very important part of this is this option is available in whole ms office this format painter under the home tab clipboard group format painter when i'm standing on this and i want to copy only the format of this cell not the actual value so i'll click on it i'll click it once and you can see that a brush is coming with this cursor and when i click somewhere else that formatting will get copied now i want it on all these cells so i'll click on it and i'll drag it like this and you can see that it is changed in these let me do it for these cells also the rest of the cells like this and let me increase the width of these columns and now you can see that after every click that option is going away so there is one way to do that is when i click on it i press double click on it then i can do it multiple times in, instead of one time and when i press escape on my keyboard that option will go away now let me calculate it for example percentage of total so i'll press equal to and i want to calculate the percentage of this pen with total so i'll click on it i'll divide it by the total value and i press enter so it is showing me this ina which is actually not the way it is a percentage so i don't want a currency i want a percentage so when i click on it you can see now it is in percentage and if i want to increase the decimal places i can by clicking this arrow key and in case if i want to show any number in 2000s or 100 places so if i write let's say any number over here when i press comma it will count out that hundreds and thousands places i can remove this decimal places as we have already discussed now these are the ways through which we can do the number formatting apart from that the date format is also very important i have written 20th of may 1980 now this formatting i want to change this is right now month day and year format if i want to change to any other format i can go with all those ways which are format cells or control 1 so it will show me this box where it is date so i can select any predefined format which are available over here for example this one and i press okay so it will show me the sample over here so 20th may 80 so if i press okay like this but i'm not satisfied with this for example i want to create my own format over here so i'll press control 1 and i'll go to custom in custom you can see the sample is coming but i can over here i can type in so let me remove it and let's say i say that d you can see the 20 is coming d d forward slash and then m which is 5 again m 05 again m so it will define the whole month forward slash y y y so it will show me the year also when i press okay and there we go we have this option with us the formatting is available thank you